Institutions. Well, one stock under quite a bit of pressure today is Meta. The stock off nearly 5% here. They did, though, announce new partnerships, also products today at its virtual event, Meta Connect. Yahoo Finance's Ali Garfinkel is here with the latest. And Ali, a new VR headset, one of the big headlines coming out of this event, which is very, very expensive. Yes, it is very, very expensive, Shauna, but they're touting it as kind of their new, highly advanced headset, right? For, for instance, they're saying it's going to have better comfort, better visuals, mixed reality opportunities, and there is a huge price gulf. I was looking at an Oculus recently. I was considering buying it. That was for about $400. This is about $1,500, so it's a huge gulf. And they did announce some new partnerships. For instance, Iron Man VR is coming to MetaQuest 2. However, how they're imagining you using this headset maybe isn't quite what you're thinking. They see it as a key part of the future of work. The future of work that they articulated definitively involves the Quest Pro. Well, and Ali, we also got some news here about Meta teaming up with Microsoft. A lot of this has to do with just trying to get us immersed in this virtual reality i guess what can you tell us about this and do you think it's going to do the trick you know shauna we'll see i i was surprised certainly when sachi nadella rolled up to meta connect and the thing that the partnership articulated was that all of microsoft's enterprise software things that people use like teams three microsoft 365 they're all going to be available in vr now and the quest pro is set to begin shipping October 25th, right? So they're hoping, there's a sense that they're hoping this will happen sooner rather than later. But it's important to remember that even with this partnership with Microsoft and other partnerships across the board, um, what I was hearing was that there were a lot of vague statements about next year. So yes, they partnered with Microsoft, that's great. But there isn't necessarily a clear sense of when some of this stuff is going to roll out. I, I couldn't help Shauna, but think of a time recently when I was talking to an expert about Meta and the thing he said is just because they have the name doesn't mean they have the tech. So we'll see, hopefully they can roll some stuff out soon. Their, their stock certainly needs the help. Ali, Dave here, it sounded as though you might be in the market for one of these VR headsets. I'm curious if you spent any time in the metaverse because the article in the Wall Street Journal is a pretty savage review. It sounded as though employees do not really want to use it even though they are being encouraged to. They were seeing notes leak out that they're not really enjoying the experience. Do you have uh, an Ali review? <laughs> An alley review of the metaverse. You know, I do, and the thing I can tell you, Dave, is I started bumping into things a lot. Um, <laughs> I, I was not particularly good at being in the metaverse, so at a certain point, my review may be suboptimal. I was running into, I was running into desks. I was running into my closet door. It wasn't, it wasn't ideal. To me, the experience clearly still needs a lot of work. But what I will say is, Meta's bet its whole company on it. They clearly believe. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I go back to that thing I said, they weren't necessarily clear about when some of this stuff is going to start emerging, but I, I am still metaverse curious, Dave. That's what I would say. Metaverse Meta -curious. curious. Okay, Meta not curious. as bad as what we've heard from some out there, although not really uh, a review. I don't think that's going to get a lot of people to try it for the first time. Ali Garfinkel, thanks so much for that.